My name is Laurie Long, and I am the artist behind the Dating Surveillance Project. And the way the Dating Surveillance Project started was that um, I was a working artist, working two jobs to pay for my art career, so I had no life. And about two years into this, I realized that um, the only way I'd ever have a love life is if I turned it into an art project. So then I started thinking, okay, what, what does dating mean to me? And in the United States, dating is very nerve-wracking, and it's, I, I think it's kind of like a spy mission. Why I think it's like a spy mission is I can't just say to the, this guy, okay, give me your questionnaire on you know, how do you feel about race, religion, politics, all of this kind of stuff, things that are important or you know, important in a mate. What's your, you know, what is your outlook on life? You have to generally find these things out in a very circuitous way. You can't ask like, deeply personal questions on the first date. So I started thinking about, okay, what do I want to do here? How can I be a spy in my own life? And I decided I would rig up surveillance equipment in my clothing. And this is 1998 when this started, so I didn't have the luxury of digital yet. I had a Hi8 camera sewn into a coat, and I had a little pinhole video lens in the lapel of the coat. It was wired down into a microphone and a small Hi8 camera in my pocket. So I had to wear this little mini dress coat all the time. I couldn't take it off because the camera was in there. Hopefully he won't notice my little camera and he'll be looking at my secret talk instead and I'll have a good, I'll, have, I'll get some good footage, footage and I'll have a really good date. I know I told you this before, but I have all kinds of travel brochures that I can show you. This is how the project started, and I made it very clear to the men who I go out with that this was a two-pronged project. It was to uh, surveil romance and the dynamics of romance and um, be a spy, not only in my own life, but just kind of investigate how romance is conducted. And it was not about embarrassing the guys, about filming them, doing awkward things. And so they knew in advance when they were going out with me. What I found was that the men, and this was what was really surprising, the men were more um, nervous about being on a date than being surveilled. And it showed me that like after the initial two or three minutes of hyper-awareness that they were being filmed, they forgot about it. Really, we're very comfortable with surveillance. It's not a big deal. And, and the personal relationships, the dynamics of trying to impress somebody, but also trying to find out if they're going to be someone you want to go out with again, that was what was more nerve-wracking. And that was really surprising to me, the level of awkwardness on a date, the artificiality. Um, wasn't really caused by the filming. It was caused by just you know, trying to get to know someone in this strangely weird social situation.